Good morning from day 104 on the PCT. We are in Etna, hiked about nine miles to the road crossing, got a hitch in immediately in a van crammed full of other hikers yesterday. Nice little trip down here. Had a nice stay at an Airbnb. Um, just got a room and a shared bathroom, but it was nice and actually cheaper than the hiker hostel per person, so that worked out in our favor. Um, we are going to grab some coffee real quick and then meet up with Harrison and Acacia again and get a ride to the Shackleton Trailhead. Um, we do have to skip a little bit of the trail, but we don't have to jump up to Syed Valley like a lot of people had to do in the past because um, there used to be like a 20 mile section of trail that was closed and the best workaround is actually to skip up 50 miles, but not anymore. So we're going to hit the Shackleton Trail, get back onto the PCT and continue our journey. Let's hit the trail. All right, we are back on the PCT after a nice 2,200 foot climb or so um, around the closure. I'll explain more about the closure when we get to camp. But for now, we're back on trail. Let's keep hiking. For lunch, we went fancy today with spinach and cheese sandwiches. Okay, that will do it for day 104 on the PCT. Ended up doing just over 17 miles. Um, that includes the Shackleton Trail connecting back to the PCT. Um, it's funny because 17 miles is now a short day. If you had told me when I first started backpacking that 17 miles would ever be a short day, uh, I would have laughed at you, but here we are. Um, we're planning from here five days to Ashland. Um, so we're going to do kind of another shorter day tomorrow, about 20 and a half miles, but it's going to be like all downhill, and that'll leave us with a real short morning into Syed Valley, and we're going to hop on out that same morning, um, and the next destination after that is Ashland, but I just want to talk about the closures real quick. Um, so this section of trail, the Shelly Fire was surrounding this for a while, Etna even had a, an evacuation order. And there was like a 20-something mile stretch of trail that was closed. And the nearest access point for a long time was Syed Valley, which means like skipping a 50-mile section of trail. Fortunately for us, like a few days ago, some of that trail reopened. And now there's only like a 12-mile closed section. And so we can access it from that Shackleton Trail. But not to really try to call some people out, but I think some people are kind of playing dumb to the fact that it has reopened and they're still just skipping up to Syed Valley just to get to Oregon faster. 
can't totally blame him. NorCal is definitely dragging out for, for quite a while, but uh, we're not doing that. But I think I should mention that obviously our goal has changed since we had since we had to skip because of the park fire. Um, the goal is no longer a continuous footpath, but to hike as much of the open PCT as we safely can. Obviously, if there's like heavy smoke from fires up ahead, we're gonna, you know, get around that too. But um, yeah, we're just gonna try to hike as much of the actual PCT as possible and skip around as little as we can. But We'll see what is in store for the future. Anyway, that's enough uh, rambling on. We'll talk to you guys in the morning. They didn't have any whiskey, or the small bottles anyway, in, in Etna, so... Oh well. Cheers. Good morning from day 105 on the trail. Um, today looks like an easy day. We're going to do about 20 and a half miles with 2,000 feet of elevation gain and 6,000 feet of loss. So we are dropping in descent today. I'm probably going to get a little warmer as the day goes on. Um, but this morning is overcast and beautiful. Really hope it stays that way. Um, we also just saw a bear in that direction over there. Um, there's a big black bear, the first one I've ever seen, uh, so that was super exciting. Uh, it was all black with a little brown face. Um, it was super cute, but I'm also glad it was at a distance. Um, and also last night we had lots of deer around our campsite keeping us up all night long. Um, at one point apparently one was licking my backpack outside of the tent. Um, I wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't woken up to Justin shouting, hey deer, in my ear, um, but that's okay, he kept me safe from the, the curious deer, um, but yeah, should be a good day, hope we see more wildlife, let's hit the trail. doesn't appear to have a PCT tag. Well, after a cool overcast start to the day, we are below 2,000 feet for the first time since maybe the desert, like maybe around the I-10. It's been a while. It is a, Feeling it, we're glistening. It is a sweaty mess. See? We're about a mile away. Almost to camp. What a refreshing way to end a hot day like this. Uh, cooled off from the creek here and uh, of course there's some creek laundry. Let's eat dinner. What do you have for dinner tonight? Here we have instant rice with spinach and sun-dried tomato and taco seasoning. Mm. That is uh, fancy. Mm -hmm. 
I have my usual double pack of ramen tonight. And a big thank you to Harrison for <laughs> <laughs> grabbing me a beer from a trail angel earlier that was uh, that we missed. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, that's going to do it for day 105 on the PCT. A whole lot of descent today, like 6,200 feet, something like that. Um, we definitely dropped an elevation. We're under 2,000 feet. I think we're like 1,600, and it's uh, it's warm. Maybe not right now, but when we were finishing up hiking, it was like 102 degrees or something. Yeah, fortunately, we arrived at this campsite, and there's a nice flowing creek, so we took a very cold bath, um, and yep. we were able to rinse off and cool down a little bit. Yeah, we're at, at a, an actual campground, so we're at a picnic table right now. There's an actual bathroom over here, so I guess that's nice. Um, but, man, it has taken a long time to get to Oregon. <laughs> NorCal's really dragging out. Um, so the way it works is like when we were around Shasta, we're not that far from the Oregon border, but then the trail decides to like make a fish hook and just like makes a C shape to the west. And yeah, yeah. you're getting right close <laughs> to the border and the trail decides to just take you on the scenic route up to Oregon. Yeah. Um, but we should be hitting the Oregon border border uh, day after tomorrow. Um, from here, we have about 67 miles to get to Ashland. We're going to make a quick pit stop in Syed Valley first thing tomorrow morning and then be on our way. Um, so before we know it, we'll finally be on to our second state of this trip. Hey. <laughs> it's taken a while. And a uh, whole lot of wildlife today. Uh, I know this one's going on for a while. Sorry. But yeah, we, we saw two deer last night around our tent, a bear this morning, just a couple other deer along the trail, including a, a doe a mom deer with two little fawns. I think we counted 12 deers in total in the last 24 hours. Yeah, it's it's been a lot. This has been a, a nice stretch. There's a little less people on this section of trail because it used to be closed, and a lot of people are still skipping up to Syed Valley, so less people, more wildlife. It's, uh, it's been nice. It is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what tomorrow looks like. I think that'll do it for now. We'll talk to you guys in the morning. Cheers. Cheers.